Today, Idaho's governor signed an order effectively banning spice. It's a synthetic drug sold as incense, but something people use to get high. And it's still very legal here in Washington. And one local store says business is good. KXY 4's McKay Allen is live with the story. McKay? Yeah, this is the store over my right shoulder. Just opened on Wednesday, and they sell this stuff called spice. It's basically herbs mixed with various chemicals. Now, it's sold as incense, but people are smoking it to get high. People can use it. There's nothing illegal about it. It's called spice. It's used just as any other incense. You burn it. We have um, a solid incense the same. You burn the top, then the aroma. Um, helps you out. And Vanita Trujillo sells it at her new shop on North Monroe. The aroma is gives you this effects of um, just like medicinal marijuana would without the hassle. Spice is really nothing more than herbs sprayed with chemicals. Already banned in several foreign countries, Idaho today became the 14th state to ban it. If smoked, it can cause vomiting, agitation, increased blood pressure, seizures, tremors, and hallucinations. In Idaho, 80 people visited emergency rooms because of spice in a three-month period this summer. Nationwide, 352 people were hospitalized after smoking spice in a three-month period this spring. It doesn't do anything to harm you. Trujillo admits there are some bad varieties and brands of spice out there, but says she only sells safe spice. It's not illegal. We're not... We don't have anything to hide. Trujillo won't sell to anyone under 18, and if someone indicates they're going to smoke it, not use it as incense, she won't sell it to them at all. Having said that, pipes that could be used to smoke it are sold in her store, only feet away from the spice itself. But do you think people are buying it, whether it's here or elsewhere, to smoke it? I mean, is that a reason people buy it? A common reason? Um, yeah. I would, I would assume so. Trujillo calls the new Idaho ban absurd and says she's not worried about a Washington ban on her totally legal product anytime soon. Nicotine is addicting and people die every day from um, lung cancer. So why do we still sell cigarettes? So what does the Spokane PD say about spice? The answer is not much. When I asked the spokesperson today what they knew about it and they said, you know, it's really not a problem here. In fact, they told me they really hadn't heard of it being used in Spokane. Reporting live, McKay Allen, KXLY4 HD News.